last but not least the stroke type we are seeing here solid stroke no blanking dashed blanking dotted blanking and dotted solid line blanking of course as you probably know i won't explain this one so let's check the first one i think it's super obvious because you already saw that a few times now when we were talking about color and shape so let's try the dashed blanking it's very similar effect to the one we were using once showing the dashed color mode and when we uh, blended red color with the black one but this one just automatically is drawing a dashed line without any other color necessary to use so in this example we don't uh, have to mix or blend uh, some color with the black one it just automatically splits our um, line into several stripes as we can see we are using frequency 4 which means that we have four gaps between the color also in this example as previously explained offset in static image won't say much for, to us so let's wait a bit till we will talk about the animations and leave it out to the, the zero degrees a ratio very similar to the one we were discussing the color so ratio means the, the ratio between the color and between the empty spaces for now we have like 50 50 this one uh, let's say it will be 25% uh, color 75% uh, empty space let's check it out if that will work and I think it's pretty uh, legit because we have like tiny stripes uh, with the color, uh, bigger gaps. So the ratio is, is, is like this, 75% of empty space and very narrow lines with the color. We can go even lower, like 10% of the color and 90% of blank space. Yes, it's almost like uh, dots over here, but it's still a narrow stripe, so it should look very impressive live with the projection. Okay, let's delete it. Next one, dotted blanking. It's nothing else like just a regular dots, frequency four, and that's the final effect we have four uh, blank spaces between the dots that's what uh, frequency means if we set it up to for example 10 we should get 10 spaces between first and the last dot let's check it out one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten that's the easiest way to remember how to use the frequency or at least that's the way how I'm using it and remember how it works. Offset, as you probably remember later when the animation will be explained. And the last one in the stroke type, and that's pretty quick, stroke type with the combined solid and dotted blanking. Now we have new box uh, with the dot color selector we can set different color for example primary color green with the let's say purple dots inside still frequency 10 bang and we have straight line with dots on it and this effect is also very impressive live so i would keep that in mind later once you will start to program your own laser show the one thing i should also mention is this little bad boy over here for example if we would like to use stroke type like this one solid stroke 
we can add dots on the start and at the end of the line. Let's keep the, the same uh, purple color. And voila, we have one dot at the beginning and one dot at the end of the line. It's amazing how it looks when the line is moving. So I will show you some examples later once we will check the animations and live projections. Okay guys, that's all for this episode. I hope you understood all those things and informations about shape, color and stroke. Let me know if there is something what I should explain more. But don't worry, later in this course I will show you how to use that. I will show many examples of using, mixing those tabs, those modes and explain how to create amazing effects and animations. Thank you.